In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Satan. God did not create him as a devil, but he was one of the cherubim. And having fallen down, he became the deviler, stubborn contester of God. God said about him, You are the anointed cherub who covers, as 28 14, 16. He said about his qualities, You are the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. I established you, you were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created, till iniquity was found in you, Ezekiel 28, 12, 14 to 15. It is the tragedy of failure. Thus, were his high rank and his glorious qualities, till he fell. This cherub, Satan, fell by means of pride. The story of his fall is mentioned in the book of the prophet Isaiah. The scriptures say about him, For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides. Of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, is 14, 13 to 14. And it was said of him in the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty, you corrupted. Your wisdom for the sake of your splendor, as 28, 17. With the fall of Satan, he made many other angels fall with him. These have become among his forces and hosts. They have become devils like him, opposing God. The scriptures have surnamed them spiritual hosts of wickedness, F. 612. Among them were rulers and principalities. But the scriptures did not mention that any one of the rank of the thrones fell, because they symbolized the divine presence. Nor from the rank of the seraphim, because they represent the praise of God and the divine love. From their name which means the powerful with fire, or the flaming with love. With the fall of Satan, he lost his place in heaven and descended to earth. The book of the Apocalypse says about that. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So, the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Apoc. 12. 7-9. The archangel Michael confronted him with an army of righteous angels, and he conquered him, and threw him out of heaven, together with his wicked angels. With the fall of these angels, who are souls, they were surnamed the unclean spirits, Matt 10 1, or the evil spirits, Acts 19 12, and sometimes the deceiving spirits, 1 Tim 4 1. Although the devils, with their fall, have lost their purity, Nevertheless, they have not lost their nature as angels with the strength which they possess. The strength of the devil appeared, for instance, in his test of the just job. He was able to bring down fire from heaven, and it burned up the sheep and the servants, Job 1.16. He was able to raise up a great wind which came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house. And it fell on the young people, and they were dead. Job 1.16.19. The devil was able also to strike Job with painful boils from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took for himself the pot shirt with which to scrape himself, Job 2, 7-8. Likewise, a devil withstood Gabriel twenty-one days, while he was going to deliver the prophet Daniel. And he delayed him till Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help him. Dan 10-12-13. The devils of the country of the Gadarenes, legion, were able to enter the swine, and they drowned them into the sea, Luke 8, 33. Likewise, their strength appears in witchcraft, and their support of the sorcerers. Satan works also in deceiving and cheating, as the Apostle St. Paul said, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light, 2 Cor 11, 14. He has in this domain numerous stories with the saints. For example, once he appeared to a father of the desert, and said to him, I am the Archangel Gabriel, and I was sent to you. Then the saint humbly replied to him, Maybe you have been sent to another one and you have lost your way. As for me, I am a sinner and do not deserve that. An angel appears to me, 
To have more information, you can read our book. The Wars of the Devils. The Lord said about Satan that he is a liar and the father of it. John 8 44. The devils have done many other actions. And they have killed many people. Therefore, the Lord gave to his disciples power over unclean spirits to cast them out. Matt. 10 1. The Lord gave us, in spite of the strength of the devil, the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Luke 10 19. In the book of the biography of Saint Antonios, which was written, by Saint Athanasius, there is a long sermon which he said about the weakness of the devils. The most dangerous action which Satan will do is his support for the Antichrist who will cause the general falling away at the end of time. That is about which the Apostle Saint Paul said, the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth, and destroy with the brightness of his coming, 2 Thess, 2, 8-10. As to the end of Satan, it is the lake of fire and brimstone. The book of the Apocalypse says about that. The devil, who deceived them, was cast into the lake of fire, and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Apocalypse 20-10.